Welcome to the first tutorial for the Amigurumi calendar 2023. In this video, we are going to crochet the January project, which is Brita the Bullfinch. For this project, you will need some cotton yarn. I'm using Karma from Crank So Wool and a crochet hook. I'm using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a darning needle and some stuffing. You also need to know how to crochet a magic circle, single crochets, increases and decreases. If you prefer to follow a written pattern, you'll find the digital and the physical copy of the Amigurumi calendar 2023 over in my webshop. Okay, so let's start with some black yarn and a magic circle with six single crochets. So let's pull some yarn and one, two chains and then six single crochets in the second chain from the hook. That is how I do my magic circles, but you can use whatever method that you prefer. And on the second row, we are going to crochet six increases until we have 12 single crochets. One, two, so that was our first increase. And repeat that five more times. And if you need any help with any stitches, I have a playlist with all the tutorials for each and every stitch that you need throughout this making. And now it's time for our third row and we are going to crochet one single crochet, one increase and repeat that six times until we have 18 stitches. So one single crochet and a increase in the next stitch. And repeat that five more times. Black is always a little bit tricky to crochet with, so be sure that you have a good light source when crocheting. But it's only a couple of rows in the beginning and then the wing, so it's, it's doable. Okay. That was our third round and on the fourth round we are going to crochet two single crochets and one increase and repeat that six times until we have 24 stitches. So one single crochet and a second single crochet and a increase. And repeat that five more times. That was the end of round four and on the next two rounds we are going to crochet 
24 single crochets. So one single crochet in each stitch for the next two rounds, aka row number five and round number six. Okay, and I am not going to end the last stitch because we are going to change color to B, which if you have the calendar, you can see up in the corner, here is the color key. So B indicates white. So let's take our white yarn and pull it through. And we are not going to use black yarn for this part anymore. So we can chop that one off and just continue with the white ones. Uh, after a couple of rows, I like to tie these two together with a knot and just hide them there inside. They will not go anywhere. For the next round, round uh, seven, we are going to crochet 24 single crochets. So one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay, on the next round, round number eight, we are going to crochet 11 single crochets, two increases, and then 11 single crochets again. So now it's important to count. One, two, three, Let's double, double check. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So now it's time for two increases. And a second increase. And then 11 single crochet, which are the stitches we have left before we arrive at the beginning again. And before finishing our last stitch, we are going to switch colors to our third color, which is red. Let's put the black one away. Like this. And we are done with our white one, so we can cut that off. And for the next round, which is round nine, we are going to crochet 12 single crochets and two increases and 12 single crochets.
and that was our first increase and then a second increase and then 12 single crochets Let's tie these two together, the red and the white. And the rest of the bird is going to be crocheted in red, so we can actually also move this one. Okay, so on the next round, round number two, 10. I need to mark where I am in the pattern just so I don't get lost. So round number 10 we are going to crochet 13 single crochets, 2 increases and then 13 single crochets again. And you might find that there is a pattern and for each round we are, there is one more single crochets before the increases and one more single crochet after the increases. Now it's time for our increase. And then a second increase. and then 13 single crochets. On round 11 we are crocheting 14 single crochets and then two increases and then 14 single crochets again. the next round which is number 12 we are crocheting 15 single crochets and two increases and then 15 single crochets again On round 13 we are going to crochet 16 single crochets, 2 increases and then 16 single crochets again.
on round 14, we are going to crochet 17 single crochets, two increases and 17 single crochets again. And as you can see, we are creating a back for our bird. So this is how it looks like so far. And on the next round, we are going to crochet 18 single crochets and two increases and 18 single crochets again. And on round number 16, which is our last increase round, we are crocheting 19 single crochets, two increases and then 19 single crochets. Now you should have 42 stitches. So I highly recommend you to double count just to see that you haven't missed any increases somewhere. Yes. That is the right amount of stitches. So for the next two rounds, AKA round 17 and 18, we are going to crochet one single crochet in each stitch. So 42 stitches in total. So this is how the body should look like right now after round 17 and 18. And now it's time for decreasing. So on the next round, round number 19, we are going to crochet five single crochets and one decrease and repeat that six times until we have 36 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, and a decrease. I'm doing those invisible decreases that are done in only the front loops to minimize the holes and then repeat this five more times. Mm -hmm. 
On round 20, we are crocheting four single crochets, one decrease, and repeat that six times until you have 30 stitches. On round 21, we are crocheting three single crochets and one decrease. Repeat that six times until we have 24 stitches left. This is how the body looks like right now. The hole is decreasing. On the next round, round 22, we are crocheting two single crochets, one decrease and repeating that six times until we have 18 stitches. So one, two, and a decrease and repeat that five more times Okay, on round 23, we are crocheting one single crochet and one decrease and repeat that six times. And by the end of the round, we should have 12 stitches left. Now it's time to stuff our bird body before the hole gets too tiny.
Okay, now it's time for our last round where we are going to close up our hole and we are going to crochet six decreases until we have six stitches left. Six. That was all of them. Okay. Cut off the yarn. And the last thing we need to do on the body is just to wave in the yarn ends. And to close the hole underneath the body, I wave through the front loops of the stitches. And when I have gone through all of the stitches, I just pull and then it closes it up and looks pretty and neat. And this is how the body of our Brita the Bullfinch looks like. Now let's continue with the beak. For the beak we need black yarn. Let's move these out of the way. And let's start with a magic circle with six single crochets. So one single crochet, two, three, four, five and six. And on the second and last <laughs> round, we are crocheting one single crochet, one increase, repeat that three times until we have nine stitches. So one single crochet and a increase and repeat that two more times. And that was it. That is our beak. Let's cut off the yarn but save some so that you have yarn to attach the beak with to the head. Then we are going to wave in the beginning yarn end. There we have our little tiny beak. The next part is the eyes and for that one we need white yarn and some black yarn. But we are going to crochet them in white and then we are going to make some 
surface slip stitches on them. So begin with a magic circle with six single crochets. Oh no. Two, three, four, five, six. And to make this into a perfect circle, I am going to make a slip stitch in the first stitch and a chain. And on the next row, we are going to crochet six increases until we have 12 stitches. And we are starting in the same stitch as I made the slip stitch. So that was our first chain. So that was our first increase. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. That is our eye. Cut off the yarn, but save some so that you have something to sew with. And then we are going to end the round with a invisible stitch. Just to make the seam unnoticeable and the circle perfectly round. Like this. The next thing we are doing is wa waving in the beginning yarn end to make the happy amigurumi eyes uh, you need to surface crochet five slip stitches onto the circle or you can embroider with chain stitches if that is what you would prefer. But I am going to surface slip stitch because uh, in my opinion, that is a little bit quicker. So let's pull through the yarn. So we get a loop on the front side. Push through the circle, grab the yarn and go through the loop. So there is our first slip stitch and we are making five. So two, three, four, and a last one. Then cut off the yarn, pull the yarn through, stick it through the same hole, and like this, we have a happy eye. And I usually just tie the yarn ends together on the back side with a double knot and cut the yarns a little bit shorter just so they are it's easier to 
hide them behind the eye. We have our first eye. Now we just need to make a second one. The last part that we are going to make is the wings for our bullfinch. And we're starting off with a magic circle with six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. On the second round, we are crocheting six increases. So we want to have 12 stitches by the end of this round. On the third round, we are crocheting 12 single crochets. So one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. That was our third round. On the fourth round, we are crocheting four single crochets, two decreases, and then four single crochets again until we have 10 stitches. So one, two, three, four and then a decrease and a second one and then four single crochets On the fifth row, we are going to crochet three single crochets, two decreases, and then three single crochets again. And after that, we should have eight stitches. So one, two, three, and two decreases. And three more single crochets like so. And then we have left one last round with two single crochets, two decreases and two single crochets. And by the end of that round, you should have six single crochets. And that was our finished wing. The last thing we need to do is cut off the yarn, uh, save some so that you can 
attach it to the body and then we are going to close the hole like we did on the body by waving the yarn through the front loops on the last round. going to keep the yarn end here just so I can use it for later and then wave in the other yarn end. And now let's embroider the dots onto the wing because it is easier to do it now than later. So we are going to figure out where we had our decreases and it should be here. So we want the decreases on this side and then embroider here. I'm just going to poke through from behind. I'm going to start actually with the the first line, that one. like this and then I'm just tying a knot on the back side. This will be hidden when we attach the wing to the body later. Like this! Our wing is done and now the only thing we need to do is to make a second one. Now it's time for the assembling. So we are going to sew everything together. We have our parts, we have the body and we are going to actually start with the eyes. And the eyes are placed on one side of the head and the other one on the other side. I highly recommend you to go and grab some pins for this part because it will help you immensely so that the parts don't move around when we are sewing. I think I'm going to place actually this part, this 
here. And now we just sew around each eye. So that is our two eyes attached and the next thing we are going to attach is the beak. And we are going to try to cover the color changes on the head. So that is why I have chosen to put them in front because I knew that we are going to put a beak there so we can hide them and it will all look pretty. If you want to, you can put a little bit of stuffing inside the beak, but I I don't think it's necessary, so I am going to skip that one. And then we just wave in the yarn end, stick it through the head, for example. <laughs> Thank you. 
like this. The only two parts we have left is two wings. And when assembling the wings, I recommend you to take your needles again. Find the placing that looks looks good. I think this should be on this side. The decreases is on this side of the wing. So that way you will know which wing is supposed to go on which side of the bird. We can also check from behind if it looks okay. But we are choosing the perspective that we like the most. So I don't think anyone will look at it from the from behind so much. So the main thing is that it looks good from the side. And then we just sew them to the body. And this can be pretty rough. Just so that they stay in place. And if you ha have kids that you are going to give this to, be sure to sew them firmly <laughs> so that it doesn't break when playing with. But I know that I am going to have my birds sit on my shelves. So. I'm going to leave the thread here and tie a knot with this thread when I have sewn the second wing into place. And this is how our Brita the bullfinch looks like when she's done. Thank you so so much for watching. Be sure to check out the Amigurumi calendar 2023 in the description and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!